Muse. You're someone's muse. Uh, you're bringing people together. But with this is mm, maybe judging why someone seems harsh that they're just closed off because of experience, life experience. And that's why they stay in sis, 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 sis. Tell me. <laughs> Jimmy. What, uh, let me turn this off. All right, so you don't talk to many people. You're working on yourself. You could work from home. So I don't go out to work. I don't drive. I don't Uber. I don't take the bus or the train. Mm, yep, you work from home. But you're also working on yourself. You could be working on your home, too, doing renovations with your home, keeping yourself busy. You're making your home more secure. You understand that there's a lot of people in the world who are probably going through or not, they didn't go through what you went through to get you to this point. And that you have to be guarded because you know that a lot of people want to have negative energy attached to them. You could be an empath and you're just, you can't be around a lot of people. But it also feels like you know that there are a lot of people who like to project their pain and suffering and what they, they like to pass the buck. That they're learning lessons. I think you know that there are a lot of opportunists as well. This doesn't have to be something where it's a large amount of money. It could be to open your home up to somebody. Or you're just very um, private, safe, very, it's not secretive. I almost said that they could say that. Somebody could say that you're secretive. It's not that you're secretive. It's you're just, um, you're content. Uh, let's see what this is. You could go for walks. So you do go out. <laughs> walk your dog or something. You walk your dog. And you're, you're polite. I don't know if someone was saying that because you don't speak to a lot of people, you may not see a lot of people. I see you going out, taking walks, or for someone you run or something, and, and you say hi, and, or they don't. It's very innocent. Yeah, yes, it's very innocent. It doesn't feel like this is something you're doing intentionally. This feels like the result of whatever, like I said, that was that got you to this point. I saw the signs. That's what it is. You you pay attention. You you read signs, license plates, street names. You pay attention to your body. They're not awakened. They see it from a different perspective. I'm guessing if, if you were still unawakened, I don't know if you've ever crossed paths with somebody who was just more aware and they seem standoffish or almost ignorant, that's where you're at now. Sacred temple. You definitely, you hardly recognize me. How could a person like me care for you? 25 something you know that your entire existence or your body and everything that comes with you the space that you're in is safe this is sacred and uh, that means what information you take in what people are around you touching you shaking hands with you yeah yes that you draw a lot of attention in your community. You could have a social media platform that's getting a lot of attention from people in your community. It could be someone you're in a connection with. For 15 years, I wondered who you are. 
there's some messages that you put out. You could be a tarot reader. You could talk about twin flames or soulmates. Yeah, divine masculine and stuff like that. There is one who I'm guessing your platform is getting attention. If not from just one in particular that this is about, then this is all over. These are divine masculines that are waking up. And they're listening to what you're saying about toxic relationships, about these marriage scams from women, black widows, them putting shit in their drinks, even in the fridge. Gotta get your own fridge and put a lock on that bitch, hmm? So I need to do that. <laughs> I don't know what she's putting in there. That he has no attraction for this woman at all, and his dick won't work. And she's got to put Viagra in something. There's a horrible aftertaste in something you're drinking, sir. And it's and then motherfucker walking around. And he can't even leave the house half the time. But he's not. She could do it at night. Is that what they're saying? So that he wakes up. Oh, got it. Ding. He's not attracted to her. We covered that. And he's probably sitting there thinking, do I have to stay with this one? I mean, what, what, so where does this go from here? I'm, I, I can't even get hard for my wife or my girl anymore. What, what, this can't get better. This is what's on his mind. He's trying to figure out an escape plan. Meanwhile, this chick, I don't know where she's getting it from, but she's getting it. And she's putting it in at nighttime. That way, how's this? You know what I say? Like, I, I think I heard or I just believe. I don't know. That if I'm, you wake up in the morning and the man wakes up to you and he has a he's attracted to you. He's attracted to you. I, I don't know. I could be wrong because I don't have one. I don't. Um, people were saying that I'm, I'm a man or I'm a trans. That's comical. I, I can see how someone would think I would have a lot of man in me because of my situation and how I've had to, the hat I had to wear for this. But all woman. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Really? I gotta pause it. Ain't there some bullshit? Stay tuned. <laughs> My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. This guy's mom. Did you have a lot of problems with moms of men that you dated? Did you have a mom that made you feel like you were the side piece in the house. Did he live with his mom? Or he might as well have. <laughs> I lost my complete train of thought. <laughs> I had to hit the pause button and take a few seconds. And I was like, I don't even remember what the hell I was saying. So I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> uh, every time you told me that my opinion was wrong. A lot of these guys could have been with women or had moms that what they said didn't matter. Unless you were praising her. But if, if other than that... Well, what do you think we should do? And then before you answer, it's, I think we should do this. So then he starts dating those types of women thinking that that's... I mean, that's what you're used to. For the men who the mother's opinion matters that much, it would be very rare that this mom would be, especially if you're if you're tight and you're the one that that's closest with her as a son. It it almost feels like a bond. It's a different type of bond. To 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 take everything that she says at face value when it comes to relationships and anything that would pull she's still a woman it's still it's like i said it's still a cord it's just like a girlfriend or even a female friend if you're moving away across the country she's going to feel some kind of way with the separation it's not like it's her fault but at some point when you don't check that just like another human she's going to think it's acceptable and that it's okay and then it's going to escalate to different levels. Next thing you know, you're going to lose someone great because this is something that she's become accustomed to and so did you. Seth. <clears throat> Breaking down somebody's walls. 
I like to break her walls down. That's what I just heard. <laughs> Maybe you are not sleeping around. This was about you being a hermit. You've cut off friends from the past also. And maybe this is something this guy or these guys are realizing is that they needed, you could have said, you need to cut off all the communication with anybody from your past when you are this type of guy. Because she's that type of woman or it's vice versa and the guy's the hermit. And, but, and they know because they've seen it and experienced it. Royalty. Okay. One. This guy or female had some cop friends that you need to stop partying, hanging out because they're setting people up. Of mm -hmm. uh, mom and dad, this is right here, a uh, mother and a father. And you were betrayed by, you could be mirroring somebody. I mean, it's identical. On together. Maybe, but he's like, all right, I see why. I thought that you were ignorant. I thought that you were arrogant. I thought you thought you were too good for me or for us. And there are people that are starting to see that what, how you did this and how that, that you needed to. Your family. That, oh, okay. And beauty spells. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Ugh. Not the jealous aunts and sisters and mothers. You're creating your own reality. This is, this is how you do it. You stay to yourself. You respect your body. You respect your mind. You respect your spirit, damn it. And the self-respect is going to agitate people. It is, but then they're going to realize eventually, uh, why am I angry that this person, if, listen, if, if I'm angry that this person, this woman or this man, it respects themselves like this and loves themselves like this, what does that say about how I feel about myself? That's the way that they should look at it. Perspective. You're my living proof that this is possible. That, that it's actually possible to create your own world based off of all of this combined. Yes, it is. It's amazing. Warrior woman. That came out in reverse, but that would be all that would be weird. And if that was in reverse, I would say that they were possibly doing black magic to get you to stop fighting. To to just submit and give up. Tell me about warrior woman in reverse. Love suicide. I hope not. Uh. They didn't want you to be... You have this uh, energy of gratitude, natural gratitude, and I guess it shows... All my way back from the dead. Oh. Don't come around here no more. You died and, and came back. You got something to do. When you're putting this much work in, you are very essential to the universe. You're always going to be have everything that you need. Always going to be protected and favored in some way. Where am I? Oh. You realize that you have many options in every area. It's not just relationships. That you always had many options. Everything always works out for you. It must have to do with your auric field. Very, very close connection with the spirit realm. Yeah, she's pouring something in one cup. It's the same person. It's her cup pouring into her cup that she's holding. There's no one else in this card. 
That's what I see. You put every ounce of love that you have in you into yourself. And in order to have that happen, you had to be this hermit. You had to stay to yourself. It's impossible. And then it doesn't mean you stay like this forever. It means now you start learning, all right, well, this is how I ground myself. I, I know that I'm okay with being by myself, so I'm never going to be heartbroken again. Someone could up and leave the next morning and my life is still going to go on. This is a very powerful type of person to be because when you're not hurt or you, you know you can't be hurt again in a certain area or it could be all areas. I don't know how long you've been isolating yourself. You hold all the power there. You could like up and leave and move on and just, you're, I don't even know if you start a new life. For you, it could just be, all right, well, that's done. That's terrifying for some people. Because most of their relationships and marriages are based off of knowing that that person's not going anywhere. And then what that does is what? That makes you more comfortable with starting petty fights. You, you let your anger out on the wrong person because you know that they're going to stay. And then eventually you lose respect for that person. And you resent them. Because now when you lose respect for them and you see them every day, you, you don't... You feel differently about them. Truth. <laughs> Maybe this is your calm. That's another thing someone's realizing or people realize this. Okay, writing it down. Spiritual baths, diet has a lot to do with it. It's amazing the, the peace and tranquility that you have in your life when no one else's problems are yours. It's just yours. You start to realize and you feel bad for saying it because there's always going to be that person that goes, yeah, but you, most of your problems in life weren't yours. When you're a solid person like this, this is a, an uh, empath. They, they are a sponge for toxic shit. They're the mediator. They're the ones that don't judge that everybody needs in their life, but nobody appreciates it when they have it. They only appreciate it when they're gone and, and, one of them things. This is um, a valuable friend. Uh, they, people would be lucky to even partner up with you. With this creating your own reality, it is crucial who this one is going to be. You can't be creating and doing all this. And this is cutting yourself off from existence down there. And completely shedding whoever you were before this one here is crucial they had to have gone through this or this dark night of the soul even if they are going through it fine if this you know uh you'll put your defenses up if they're narcissistic or you feel like they want to control you in any way mm -hmm. You're on to the narcissistic word salad with the page of swords and the magician. You un I understand. I understand that you come with a side salad because, okay? M maybe accepting it, but just not overboard. Oh, and willing to work with that. But I don't want to be the one that has to fix you. I'm willing to work with you. There's a big difference working for you and working with you. In this situation, I'm willing to work with you. It could be kind of coming off to people of the opposite sex that you are too hard to please. You expect a lot that you want perfection. spiritual union you just want somebody that's going to be somewhat of an equal that's all I, I i will have your back always that's what i expect i will what i mean it's hard to say in the beginning anything about love i think that's where people go wrong when they say i will love you forever well i mean we just met it's kind of weird to even say that and dangerous because you don't know what the other person has been through and how many times they've been lied and told that and they want to believe this is actually the time you're going to make a serial killer out of somebody <laughs> doing this shit all the time. I, I want what I put out. That's it. 
I don't care if he's a little disrupted or she's a little disrupted up there. It's good crazy. I know because I am. You change your mind like a girl changes clothes. I don't mind if you're indecisive. See, because you're not interacting with a lot of people, they can only make this judgment based off what they're looking at and probably what they're hearing from other people. But here's the thing. If you don't speak to anybody, then what good is it even talking to other people? Uh, I want someone who doesn't allow other people to cause disruption. Ergo, family, friends, exes that they're still speaking to for whatever reason, partnership, and balance. Is that too much to ask, God damn it? How's this? I don't want somebody who's going to attempt to cut my heart out in the middle of the night. I'm sleeping. Okay? Uh... May, you know, I haven't really been in a, my, myself, I haven't been in a relationship in a while. I, you may have to say some shit like that in the times that we're in. You may have to. I'm nervous to get one of these now. It, it, I could see why this is coming off this way. How do you break the ice with that, though? Boring. Oh, they see this. They could think that's boring. Crap my pants. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, I don't know. Something, <laughs> I don't know. You could have shat your pants at some point. That would make you less perfect, I guess. Maybe that's what they're saying, is they think that you're perfect. Okay, they shat themselves, now what? <laughs> Been caught dancing naked in front of the mirror, so you're... Okay, This you just enjoy your own company. Do you know how rare that is? I, I hear people say it. I've heard people say it and shit, but you can tell with it. They'll be like this. I enjoy my own company. Hmm. You sound agitated, motherfucker. You sound like you agitating you. And if you're the one agitating you, there's a whole other level of awareness uh, there where some people should be nervous. <laughs> well, let's get another one. <laughs> what does this shirt say? Had a nickname for my special parts. They always want to go with this one. What, let's find out what the nickname is. Let's get the letters. What's the nickname? I'm guessing it's a guy, but it could be a female. What's the nickname for the special part? Satan. Well, to some, that's actually hot. Uh, Taurus. Yeah. Wow. This, you know, or somebody named your part that they could have said that you are easy that you got down with some real dirty shit but I also see for a male Taurus if that's what you name that's pretty hot but uh you got some jealous bruh when I, when I say jealous I don't know how many dudes have seen I, mean, I don't know if they're Guys do that. I women do too, right? Up. <clears throat> this is the kind of thing where you need the pat. You need the uh, what's the longer view when you turn the phone that way to get this whole thing in the picture. And we're we're back to this guy again, huh? Okay. It could be worse. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, yeah, this makes people very happy. Hmm. Yay! 
you're going to be very happy when you see that, Taurus. All right. And for you, if you're a female, smile from ear to ear. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people jealous of you. Uh, just your happy demeanor. I think maybe this was people realizing more why you say to yourself, there are people that are experiencing this now. Because uh, they're changing or they didn't really need to change that much. But they're just becoming more aware of why you do this. Some are. It, d it depends on what level of ascension they're on. There are going to be others who see you as ignorant and that you don't help anybody in your community. You know. Uh, they see that you were, even when you had people attacking you, that you still remained happy during taking a loss. That helped your auric field. There must be something big that you just got or that you're about to get that they know about. And they're realizing that this is the formula for how you got it. With the hermit, this is wisdom. But that could be belief as well in the shit that you said. You started learning about things. This could be sigma empaths, uh, alphas, kaokas. Just learning about things instead. What is this? Is this for the one whose penis is named Satan? <laughs> uh, you're going to get some kind of phone call from a friend or a sibling. This could be a youngest or something, a younger sibling. Saying, like, do you want to go out on a date or try to set you up with somebody? Yeah, put your guard up with that one. Why? It's, it, it's a plot. This is going to be the opportunity of a lifetime. And, yay, this is amazing. They own their own business. And it, it feels like a broker or investor. <clears throat> Yeah, they're going to they're going to slowly try and get into a relationship with you. I guess you know why. So be careful of that. You love to me. Yep. You got to prove that shit. You can't just come up with a sign on your shirt that says, "Hey, I'm so and so and I'm the perfect man and perfect woman for you." That just seems ridiculous. Uh yeah, I need this is like a job interview. That's how you're handling shit now. This is a orientation. <laughs> you have to coordinate. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, let me pause this. <clears throat> that you do things and you don't need a reward. You don't need to be rewarded or pat on the back. There you go. Add a boy, add a girl. Your opinion is the one that matters. And I'm guessing whatever entities that you, whatever you believe in. <sighs> Eleanor. Mm -hmm. uh, sheds light on the potential wealth within you. Aha. <laughs> Aha. Someone's a master manifester. You are going to help so many people with this formula. Because really, it didn't cost you a lot. Because you allowed loss. You, you kept your mind right. Which kept your body right. Sally. You create something from nothing when you're like this all together. <laughs> I'm excited. You were your own companion or you have one person that you could trust and you realize that could be more than enough. You allowed yourself to learn about a lot of shit. This could be ancestry, gods, goddesses, spiritual shit, ancient Egypt, Roman Empire, stuff like that. Learning about that shit. You, though... Oh, damn. You a whole new you. You didn't realize how confident that you were? Or or just... 
this this is a sense of knowing you had to change you could be a a, a karmic female you are in karm just in karmic energy you could have been a little <clears throat> conniving and slick and somebody you could have even killed some people I mean, this is why you're doing this you don't want this life I'm so obsessed my untrained chest somebody needs to turn their chest yeah somebody, and for some one of you is you are female and you need to do shit I don't know where that's coming from but whatever it is that you do no judgment I think you've been distracted a little bit just like I shaved my face, I would want somebody to tell me that. Let's see. What's this? Uh, Maybe you could have thought in the past. You, you didn't even talk to your child? Oh, this is how serious you are about it. You could have cut your child off or there was just some beef with you and your kid or your kids. Whatever the reason was. You weren't, you weren't communicating with your child friends you you this is a death to friends from the past your kid i definitely see siblings anything you could be a divine masculine you could have even worked for a father and stopped that you had a partnership or a business partnership or something with a dad. You just queen of swords. I feel like you just, I don't know if you even went back in again. That may have been a little abrupt. But uh, you were very skilled at this, whatever this is. It's very skilled. Yeah, But you had another option or other options and you realized that. Truth. You know now... You could have gotten treated like, it doesn't feel like shit, but it just feels like expected because you're my son or you're my daughter. And you found out some truth or you just realized that this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. <clears throat> I don't know, you're, this is a, a, a skill of art, something creative, you're a creator. And you're, I can create, so I can do something else. And so you were, you turned your back on that. I feel like you quit. And then this made you happy. You could have been at this job since for a while, since you were younger. And whatever it is, you could have felt pain. If this is construction or it, this was you, you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Like a dead end type of thing. And then you had this awakening. Hmm. You realize all the lies and manipulation from family, the system, all this other shit. Um, that people were, were planning and plotting on you possibly since you were a child. So you moved on. And I'm guessing for a little while it was slow. You could have been a little concerned about how you were going to bring in money, God damn it! But you remained this loving person. You could have been stuck figuring out what, what you're going to do about housing felt like you were by yourself this is how they wanted you this is when people liked you the most when you were where they're at alone with no one they couldn't stand you because whatever that, that is you remained you came out better they're getting a taste of these people who were like this wanting to attack you when you minded your own business and you were going through something real difficult there, some people are getting a taste of their own medicine you could have been married to a fire sign or in a relationship with a fire or somebody in a fire sign. And I feel like you, you just aborted that mission altogether. It was too much of a struggle possibly, or I don't know what the struggle was about. There could have been alcohol or drugs involved. This guy was a little dark when he drank, he got a little weird. You walked away from this shit. I feel like you're just like, look, I'm trying whatever this is. I just don't feel like this. It's like this. Maybe it was before. I don't want to cut you out of my life, but you could be friends still. I don't want to cut you out of my life, but you, you still like to hold on and control things. Or this could be that they're a narcissist or a little narcissistic. 
I'm, I, you know, I'm a loving woman, but I, I feel like I'm turning into something else. If you bring out this side of me, oh, that's right. This is a karmic relationship. Got it. All right, cool. I'm tired of fighting and then going to bed and not being able to sleep and having this shit on my fucking mind. If this was a marriage, I think you're just like, I'm supposed to marry you? Yeah, you know who I am? You know who I am, Divine Feminine? Nancy. I can offer you friendship. Other than that, nothing. He could come from a family of opportunists. I also think that there are people in his family that always try to offer or introduce this guy to other women or this woman to other men. But it feels like it's a man, again. Um, I, I guess because they didn't like your relationship or even your friendship. This is a mom. He listened to the mom. He had to get away from this mother. Oh, because he also is a chosen one or a star seed and has some kind of, of high vibe and bloodline. But he's very immature. Yeah, he needed to make his own money with the King of Pentacles. That's what it is. And he did. I feel like he did. And he was firm on that shift. I don't feel like he went back a lot or flip-flopped. I think once he did that, that, that was a wrap. He used to do things impulsively. This could be sleeping with women impulsively, but this was just constantly making rash, impulsive, immature decisions that wound up backfiring on him all the time. And now he was so used to whatever this was to get away from this wife or mom. It could be a wife that plays mom, but you know what I'm talking about. But uh, she liked to keep it. She loves holding shit over his head. This hindered him from growing he did this he could for somebody started his own business and has a whole new life and it's and he left all this shit behind for another one he now controls his own money he's solid this that's what it's telling me he's solid there could be people <clears throat> that are secret that they're playing like they're happy for him but they secretly are mad or jealous because I think that this guy was the, um, what is it? What's the word I'm looking for? The, I guess the, the one that they would think the least that would actually come out of some shit like this. Underdog. Thank you. Uh, he was always having issues with the judicial system. This could be in and out of jail or just tickets getting pulled over, DUIs, just take fines it feels like somebody turned their entire life around need I say more tell me about him though I'm interested in this guy tell me tell me about this guy he he went through it he was struggle struggling with what he could be struggling with a spiritual thing that's like this feels like a, a battle he could have a hard time because you're a medium or you're a psychic and he's having a hard time dealing with that oh he got it he's having a hard time cutting thoughts off in his head um he thinks he's hearing shit it's actually telepathy and he's tapped in to everybody around him this this guy is tapped into people across the globe and he thinks he's a um, schizophrenic or he's doubting whether he's hearing this shit. You are. But it's not, you're not crazy. <laughs> Truth. Okay. So there are people who think that they're crazy. Yeah, look at the world. I'm telling you, you, you are tapped into the entire universe. I know. Dan. And it's crazy because you hear a lot of nasty thoughts. This is when you do subconscious mind flushes. I listen to Dr. Virtuals. I try to do it every day, but I haven't been really loyal to that. You 
are like a sponge. There are thoughts all around us. Learn about thought forms, how they're energy, and they never leave. They just keep moving. They keep moving. There are always thoughts around us. You're a sponge for that shit. Stumbling out of buzz. You're the medicine and the pain. Aww. I'm a sucker for you. Alright. So you're definitely uh, skilled. You're a medium. And if this is a man, it's more diff. I feel like it's more difficult for men to deal with this shit than it is for women. We're always talking to ourselves and saying stupid shit. This more difficult for a man. I think that since someone was a child, he's been experiencing this. Super gifted. And I don't know if the mom just didn't know how to handle it. You know, you're programmed to believe, especially when you see shit on TV and you go to the doctors and they push this shit, that there's something wrong with your child. They're ADHD. No, they question shit the way that they should. Oh, they're 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 high strung. Well, what do you, what our kid? They're they're supposed to be high strung. You take the kid out of the kid with this shit. It bothers me. That's what happened. Uh, this person feels very alone in the world. They they don't talk about this with anybody. But I'll tell you what. If you were open about this, I promise you, bro. If you were open about this. There are other people who are experiencing the same thing all over the world. There are more gifted people than you think that are going to say, and be honest about it. I hope they're honest about it, that they're experiencing the same shit. Uh, they kind of felt like their mom didn't care. Is this a mom, a mom or a wife? I don't know if she left. She took off with some other guy. And she could have said that she was planning on taking him. But he, she didn't. She could have took other kids. Or there's other kids that, that this man had. Or she had other kids. Oh, wow. That really did something... And I don't feel like she ever spoke to this cat again. This is she. She could have had mental illness or she judged this kid. And I'm guessing that this has something to do with his relationships now. Yeah. Where are my other cards? I, I have I've been using three decks of cards for every message. Here we go. So what's he what's he what's going on now? What a great person though. Hunted in form. Mm -hmm. This it, oh. always. I think every time this guy goes to offer friendship or something, I it's like people move away or they think they don't get to know him first. He could have tried talking about this and, uh, or he wants to, I want to say it. I want to ask. I don't want people to think that I'm weird. He, he, so he doesn't make a lot of friends. And then what he'll do is because he'll make these impulsive friendships with bad people. Cause I just, I want to have somebody there. Yeah, maybe for drugs or just to hang out and party. This could be sex, Taurus. I think that this guy though was constantly was constantly getting into commitments impulsively. This is someone that calls a girl his girlfriend within a few days, but she does the same. He attracts the same. It's it's the way that we are at a certain point in life when this is going on. And then they put their guard up with this guy because they're, I don't know how, what's transpiring or manifesting that they can tell something. He's gifted. He, he could just, he, I don't, he's different.
He's that really good dude that uh, women don't seem to want anymore. Put me down. Yeah. Yes. Now how he shows love is, is through sex. But that's, that's, that's not how this guy wants to be. I think there have even been toxic ass females who spoke about his dick and shit and it was a lie. They lied. This, ugh, it makes me angry. It feels like this dude is uh, like a punching bag, but uh, punch back. Uh, they think he's nuts. That this could be someone where they would see him on the bus stop. This is bullied and everything. It, tell me who this guy is. What, what's up with this? Now we know what's going on with this. Destined for success. But he gets a lot of attention, though. He doesn't like the attention. All right. He doesn't like this kind of attention. Or, or this happened when he was a child. And this is why he either doesn't like attention drawn to him now. Very, very guarded. Very private. Very sit over here while you sit over there. Somebody could even, if they're in a situation where there's multiple people, somebody could be like, do you want a water or do you want something? Just to try and, and get a sense of what kind of person this is. I think that whoever this guy's around, they're all, they're going through struggle too. No one's talking about anything. That's what it feels like. There, there are things that people are in the same setting have in common. Gabriel with death of a mom uh, for somebody your mom is actually in the same room with you that's for someone in particular you're in a you're in a setting with a group of people and you're you haven't seen this mom in so long and she's actually right there uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there I guess basically what this is about is just why you say to yourself what you knew about about at the moment why you were doing it and even the shit that you may not know yet with why you were doing it, why you were being guided to do shit, stay away from shit, stay away from certain people, not watch certain things. It's, it's your own personal formula for manifesting, I guess, your own reality and the life of your dreams and that's amazing. You may be able to freaking make money off of this shit. We're not going to know where I love you. Philly out.